Morning everybody. Rick and Deb here. She's being my camera person again this morning. We are in Pahuska, Oklahoma and we are at uh, the Ben Johnson Museum. Now I know a lot of you may not be familiar with this actor but he was a very popular cowboy western actor back in the day. So I'm going to tell you some history. We'll both find out more once we're inside. So he's born in 1918 and he died in 1996. He was born in Four Acre, Oklahoma on June 13, 1918. Ben grew up in the Pahuska area, cowboyed on the Chapman Bernard Ranch. Now what I might also tell you is his dad was a world famous rodeo champion. He was going to follow in his footsteps, but fate intervened and he became an actor because of some series of things he did like um, he transported some horses. He transported some horses. And he met the people that were making the film at Howard Hughes' movie. And that's kind of how he got involved. But let's go on here. Ben liked rodeo too. He probably would have pursued rodeo as a career had it not been for a chance encounter with people who were making the movie for Howard Hughes. Okay, it was around 1940. And Hughes was making a movie called The Outlaw. His crew bought a load of horses out of Oklahoma. And Johnson was asked, to deliver them to the movie's location near Flagstaff, Oklahoma. At the time, Ben was working for $30 a month and they offered him $300. After the shoot, he took the horses onto Hollywood and that's where he stayed. Ben went to work as a wrangler, a stuntsman, and as a double for actors like John Wayne. Ben went work right away on such films as Wagon Master, Mighty Joe Young, she wore a yellow ribbon and the Rio Grande. He appeared in more than 300 movies, some of the better known, The Rare Breed, Will Penny, and The Wild Bunch, and The Undefeated. There's also another movie he had a bit part in. It was with uh, Patrick Swayze. He had a bit part in that movie as well. And um, in 1971, he won an Academy Award for Best Actor for a Supporting Role for his portrayal in the pool hall owner, The Last Picture Show. All right, that kind of just gives you a, a, a brief synopsis of who he was and what he did. And so here we are. We're gonna go check out this uh, little museum. So come along and join us. Let's get started. Here is the outside of the museum. So let's go on up here. There's a picture of him that up here. I was trying to think of the movie. I'm sorry, my mind went blank. He had a role, a bit part, with Patrick Swayze in Red Dawn, in the movie Red Dawn. And it, it says, Home of the World's Greatest Cowboys Museum, Western Art Gallery, and Gift Shop. Now, there'll be much more once we actually get inside. But this is just some of the signage outside. Ben Johnson Sr. was a world champion steer roper, Cheyenne Frontier Days, 1922, 1923, and 1926, Chapman Ranch Foreman. And it says here that Ben Johnson was a world champion team roper in 1953, an Academy Award winner in 1972. So, we were here earlier this year, much earlier this year, and they were not quite open yet. So we're getting ready to go inside, so we'll meet you inside. Okay, we're actually inside the museum. Here's some chairs, a saddle. Those are pretty cool. All right, we're going to just kind of, oh, look at these knives down there. Boy, that is really, those are really nice. Oh, they even sell pickled, or look at here, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. 
and they have your souvenirs, of course, and gifts, and that sort of thing. Here's another picture of uh, Ben Johnson. And then here's a, a later picture of them. Oh yeah, they sell books and movies and all kinds of interesting That's cool. Boy, look at that guitar. That is really nice. Okay, really nice. There's a saddle and some other accessories. There's some chaps. I guess they're actually for sale. Oh, eighteen hundred dollars for those chaps. Wow, that's crazy. And of course they've got all kinds of paintings. All kinds of paintings. And swing over here, there's even more paintings. Buffalo up there. There's John Wang. And as I said in the intro, he actually was a, a stunt double for John Wang. There's a bull buffalo hide. And I guess it's for sale. You might as well say $900 for that. Really nice. I want to thank the uh, staff here, the Ben Johnson Museum, for allowing me to do this video this morning. Another portrait of John Wayne. Really beautiful blanket. They even have walking sticks. Very nice walking sticks. These are really nice. Just kind of show you one here. Those are really nice. Handcrafted pencil holders. And there's some Indian, looks like uh, crafts there. Genuine Buffalo War Bonnet. Wow. And then there's all kinds of stuff up here. Vest, it looks like, up here. And this is items from the Hat Creek Cattle Company. Really, really nice. Let me get over here, kind of show you what's behind the counter here.
Yeah, really nice. Well, here's a some jewelry and that sort of thing down here. These are actually knives. They're actually for sale. Most of this stuff is for sale. Uh, these little neck bracelets and, and uh, these little boxes here that has this Ben Johnson Cowboy Museum, Pasco, Oklahoma. I'm not sure. Just kind of some little box with knickknacks in, possibly. Those are really cool. And more necklaces, it looks like. And there again, a lot of this is, is for sale. Here's a saddle belonging to Ben Johnson Sr., who was foreman of the Chapman Bernard for over 30 years. He was on loan from his granddaughter, Ann Whitehorn. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much seen this part of it. We're going to go on and look at the rest of the museum. This is, this is really some buffalo chasing some wolves, it looks like. Okay. And here's uh, some more statues. Really nice. Now here's another picture of Ben Johnson. If it comes out, it's kind of dark. And there's a cowboy hat and a shirt that he wore in that portrait. And the lasso that he was holding. And they sell hats and t-shirts. Okay, let's go on. There you go. Look at this. Really nice. Looks like a wagon train, part of a wagon train, maybe. Really nice. Boy, they've got a bunch of saddles, too. These are saddles belonging to outlaw Queen Belle Star, who had who hid out in these Osage Hills on loan from a private collection. And then this Ben Johnson Sr. was once bet he could ride a particular bronc horse. He said, not only can I ride him, I'll ride him on this kid's saddle. And this is that saddle. Wow. That's really cool. And then, of course, here's another saddle over here. This kind of gives you, this map up here kind of gives you Four Acre, Caney, Fairfax, this is the area, Osage County, Oklahoma. That's kind of where we're at right now. And then uh, here's a gun and a handcuff, looks like from a, a uh, marshal or something. And there's all kinds of guns on the walls. There's um, Here's a Muldown murder. Okay, I'm not sure what that's all about. And here's some uh, prison doors over here. Um, right here is some is a prison door, and see it's got the little uh, this part here would close over here. This part would close, open and close as they needed to for whatever reasons. Come on in here and you'll see some other posters. 
from uh, back in the day. Yeah, really nice. We got um, a lot of wanted posters, aren't there? Jesse James, Bell Star, Henry Star, Dalton Gang. We've actually been to Coffeeville, Kansas has a, uh, their downtown has that area that you can walk, do a tour of that shootout that happened with the Dalton gang there in uh, Coffeeville, Kansas. Now, I've not done a video on that yet, but I was going to, just haven't gone around to it yet. So let's look on up here. Okay. There's just a lot here for being a little museum. There really is, it's really pretty cool. And there's a picture of a Grand Osage County welcome to y'all from the crew at the world famous Chapman Bernard Ranch. And it's just a real old photograph, a bunch of people. Let's go on down here. So 1947, International Cavalcade Rodeo, the world's largest amateur rodeo. And another saddle here from the 50th Cavalcade, 50th Pahuska, Oklahoma. And then here's another flag bear, it says. I'm going over here. And it's quite a a little museum. Now here's uh, some uh, posters from his movie days. This is Mighty Joe Young. Okay. And it says starring Terry Moore. Ben Johnson and Robert Armstrong and Frank McHugh. And that's, of course, one of the movies he... Here's the Ben Johnson Memorial, and there's a uh, statue of Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson Memorial, is this, this is the clay portion of Ben Johnson for the Ben Johnson Memorial. The sculpture was originally sculptured by John D. Free Sr. The life and a quarter size memorial will be approximately 14 feet tall and will stretch about 32 feet in length. The memorial is Ben Johnson horseback riding a steer, roping a steer rather. The original uh, Maquette is on display here at, at the museum. And then here's the, it just says Ben Johnson Memorial Project. John D. Free world-renowned Western artist and award-winning sculpture. There's a lot of pictures and uh, this saddle was handmade for John, um, John D. Free, Pasco, Oklahoma. Now here's a picture of, of uh, Ben Johnson. And then this gentleman's, I think that was, um, oh gosh, Slim Pickens, possibly. Here's the Rio Grande with John Wayne, Marine O'Hara, uh, Ben Johnson, and some others. Well, these are just some movies that he played in. 1953 Team Propane World Champion, Ben Son Johnson. 1972 Academy Award winner. 
And here's some actual pictures of uh, Ben Johnson. I don't know how good that's going to come out. There's a, a cowboy hat and a shirt that he probably wore in one of the movies that he played in. Like I said in the intro, he did. Okay, now here's a really good picture of Ben Johnson and John Wayne. You can only imagine what it would have been like to see those two cruising down Pesca Main Street. And of course, here's one of John Wayne. And then here's one of uh, Don. Or I'm sorry. Don Johnson. Ben Johnson. I'm sorry. Ben Johnson. I'm sorry. Ben Johnson. Sorry about that. I mean, this just goes on and on. They got, oh, there's some, uh, oh, look at those up there. Hi.
Okay. Patty and Cody. Right here, we got one of Ben Johnson's hats from the movie The Train Robbers, starring Ben Johnson and John Wayne. Right here, oh, we got wow. the Warner Brothers label. Oh, wow. Bat Jack Productions, that's John Wayne's production company. And right here, made by Stetson Hat Company, especially for Ben Johnson. That's cool. That's really cool. Well, thank you very much. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. That's really cool. Hello. Appreciate you letting me uh, oh, no problem. do a video here. I do uh, YouTube videos. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, this place, we got the highest concentration of world champion cowboys in the nation, including Ben Johnson. So, every facet of rodeo, there's a champion. A polo playing world champion. We have Kentucky Derby champions. We got a 10-time AQHA horse racing champion. Wow. National Cut and Horse Association champion. That's cool. You name it, we got a champion <laughs> for most. Okay, camp, cool. If it's in the Western way of life. That's so cool. Yeah, well, that's really interesting. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know Ben Johnson is a second generation world champion. Yes, you know, yes his sir. His dad yeah. in 1922 right. was crowned world champion steer roper. Then Ben Johnson. 1953 won the world champion team roping. His nephew, two time world champion team roping, John Miller. So it really runs in the family. There's some great, great cowboys from this area. Cool. It's really nice. Uh -uh. Now here's the drum and ranch. Over a century of ranching on the in the Osage, and this is look at this. This is all the Drummond Ranch. That is crazy. I didn't know it involved all of this. The Drummond Ranch. Um, the lady that owns the mercantile and does the uh, cooking shows and has all the books. That's who she's married to. Um, oh gosh, her name escapes me right now. Um, she has all the cookware that you get, like at Walmart and that sort of thing. Um, oh gosh. Anyway, that's who she's married to. This Drummond family, into the Drummond family rather. Look at all those belt buckles. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Pioneer Woman, that's what I'm trying to think of. And she owns the Mercantile Building here in, in uh, Tosca. And I think I mentioned that in another video. Completely renovated the building. It's like a bookstore, souvenir thing downstairs. And then upstairs they have like a coffee shop. But this is the Drummond Ranch. This is pictures and paraphernalia like the saddle and the the boots and the awards and the trophies and belt buckles and spurs this all comes from the drum and ranch so it's quite a bit more than what I had um, than what I could ever imagine and I was actually told that you could take tours of the ranch now I don't know how true that is I don't know it might be and then again it may not be I don't know And then here's some other things like a, oh, just different types of uh, ointments or liquid saddle soap, um, you know, just that sort of stuff. And these look like these might have been given shots, like, you know, for the horses or whatever. Uh, brand new, never used grass rope, Fred, Frederick Drummond bought in the early 1940s. Yeah, see, this is all from the Drummond Ranch. Here in Pawhuska. It must really be quite a ranch. 
Here's a little bit of history on it. Um, the $1,000 that started the drum, Drummond Empire. When Osage Indians would come to Pawhuska to receive their allotments for the month, they would camp on Bird Creek across the Drummond home. Eddie Drummond would sell them chicken and eggs and fresh vegetables. Vegetables. From the proceeds of these sales, Addie supported the household, thus being able to save all the wages Fred made while clerking at J.R. Scanner's trading post. After five years, Eddie had socked away $1,000. This money was used to buy half of the Scanner Mercantile Company and thus start the Drummond family on their way as entrepreneurs. Well, that is really interesting. That's a lot more history than I had really thought. This is a lot bigger than what it looked. Now, here's this pioneer woman I was telling you about. There's, she's got a magazine. And then she's got the uh, cookware that you can buy at Walmart. Here's, a, here's one of them. Pioneer woman cooks. And then here's a Barbie doll set that's even got Pioneer Woman on it. She's even got Barbie dolls in the Pioneer Woman Barbie doll collections. And it talks about Reed Drummond, a member of one of the largest ranching families in the country. Reed calls Osage County home. What began with the blog online has blossomed into an ultra-successful career. She is a New York Times best-selling author and has her own very own Barbie. Re, like most other cowgirls in Osage County, can saddle up and make hand, make hand any time she's needed, although she prefers to, stay, prefers to stay in the kitchen. Okay. Well, that is really interesting. Look at all those cowboy boots. Now, we're going to go over here. We're going to... Uh, Now here's some more pictures of Ben Johnson. There's one right there. And here's one right here. That light's kind of in the way, but there's another picture of, of uh, Ben Johnson. And there's some more down here too. Let's kind of go over here. They got like a little theater in here that talks about his career. Here's the movie career. Here's another picture of him. I'm showing you these because you guys might recognize him. Um, in different movies you may have seen. There he is with uh, Ben Johnson and uh, I don't know who the other actor is. But that's Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson could play the tough guy. Okay, guys, I don't know. I think we're uh, about done here. I had no idea. Bolt, Bolt, Bolcher, Bolcher Boot Company, where boot making is an art, Fairfax, Oklahoma. That's where all these boots are made. Wow, that's crazy. Look at these boots. Well, oh, they're beautiful. And probably very, very, very expensive. I just tell they were formed and uh, founded rather June 1915 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, by J. C. Gus Blutcher. He was a designer and superintendent for the largest Western bootmakers in Texas. That's where those came from. But anyway, yeah, that's. Okay, guys, well, I think we've, uh, I think we've been all the way through it. Um,
we'll just kind of do another walk through here. I think we've made our way all the way through it. If you live in this neck of the woods, anywhere close by, I highly recommend this. If you like rodeos, rodeo stars, especially a famous movie star that was uh, born and raised in this area. Four Acre was born, but lived in, uh, here in Pawhuska. So that's just pretty cool. All right. Hey guys, I think we're going to call it a day. Hope you enjoyed this video this morning of this uh, cowboy museum with Ben Johnson. And as always, I thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you to my viewers. If you're new to my channel, if you like my videos, I would just ask that you uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, like I always said, my mission statement is we just do this for pure fun, enjoyment, and entertainment. We sure enjoy doing them too, and we enjoy you all like enjoying them as well with us as, as well. So, as I always say, goodbye for now. I'll see you on the next video. So, bye for now.